It's a chilly Sunday morning here in Madrid, in my neighborhood, where uh, the people are setting up their stalls for the Rastro Street Market, and I'm off, surprise, surprise, to the mountains, but not just for a little walk. There's a monastery, an old beautiful monastery, Northwest Madrid. So Lara and I are gonna get back in the four wheels, go up to the mountains, and find the ecclesiastical beast that's hiding there. Right, somebody's not happy. <laughs> We've come to Rasca Fria and it started raining, which is ideal because we wanted to do a hike today, which hopefully we will still do something. We'll see. As you can hear, it's a bit wet. It's raining. Um, this is not ideal for our one day off to go to the mountains. It's the worst possible situation. So we're going to go into the Pueblo, which is a cute Pueblo, I think. Maybe get a coffee, um, see what happens to the weather. I pray. And pray. Maybe we can pray at the monastery. Um, yeah, it's a bit annoying, but we'll see what we can make of it. So we are in the valley of Lothoya. Um, the bells are going. Um, I'm sure there's lots of interesting things to say, but this is a Sierra town, so it's the classic kind of almost like Swissy, ski, Pyrenees kind of mishmash architecture. Um, we're gonna try and do this route up to a viewpoint. It's about maybe three hours, so we're hoping it doesn't start raining, but we'll start the route and see how it goes. <laughs> Not happy. <laughs> local church and their nativity scene is still up. Look at this. <laughs> okay. The path starts now, Laura. Let's go. Oh, of course. I hate these things. I'm not a cow. Speaking of cows. So we only just started a route that is likely starting to sprinkle with rain again, which is quite annoying, but Already in the first 20 minutes, it is very pretty. very pretty. So what happens, happens. <laughs> but we already have some beautiful views, to be fair, in it. Nice. Anything you want to add? No, no okay. okay. We've got some very protective cows with kids. We're heading back down. Abort. Abort, abort, abort. <laughs> between murderous cows and rubbishy weather. I think we've done enough rutita. It was a lovely, it was a lovely half an hour. Such fitness, Jesus wept. Now we're gonna try and go and see the Paular Monastery. More on that later, Christ alive. Laura's giving me a nice hat. <laughs> what is happening? Mira, la sierra has disappeared. That was mountains a minute ago. Is it that? Well, that was a great start to the day. We are sodden, wet, a bit cold, um, with a lovely soup son of being pissed off. <laughs> I am very yeah. angry. But anyway, can't do much about the weather. So now it is, the rain has died down a little bit. So we're going to go down the road in a couple of minutes to see the monastery. Right, we're at the El Paulan Monastery. We're going to do the full tour because 
It sounds interesting. We, we have nothing else to do in this weather. We get to be taken around by a monk after mass. Yes. What is cool, this, uh, so this is interesting. It's, the work was started in 1390, and this is a Carthusian uh, monastery, a Chartreuse, and this was the first in Castilla y Leon. Oh. When this was interesting. part of Castile in the old days. This is a very old building, and it's very pretty, as we will see. Laura's gonna get the umbrella out to make a, I would say, 10 meter dash. <laughs> <laughs> Just to go there, I guess he... I'm gonna try and get a cheeky photo because it's very pretty, but there's sort of car parks and stuff in the way. Um, so he let us, the guy running the car park, let us out quickly, see if we can get a nice photo with a view. Um, if not, no worries. I bought the wine that was being drunk by the monks. Yay! So that's for dinner. <laughs> Extremely beautiful area, just ran across the Bridge of Forgiveness and Puente de Perdón. Took a photo, now we're going to run back to the car and get out of here. Back in the car, we're going to head over the mountains, maybe through some snow, or hopefully, we'll see. We're going to head towards Miraflores de la Sierra, and maybe en route we'll stop somewhere up in the hills for our beautiful car park inside the car lunch. Ahora tenéis un poco de nieve, ¿estás contentita? Yay. Excuse me, we're looking for the puerto. Cool, thank you. This pass, very, very beautiful pass. And Laura brought us a surprise. And where is the surprise? <laughs> it's currently getting chilled in the ice to another gastro traveler special snack zone uh, with laura with uh, her tortilla and cheese and tomato sandwich yeah and my mortadella rucola queso de cheddar and stuff sandwich with, is blanco? it's a it's a nut bar it's because my sandwiches laura are 80 percent sauce <laughs> How's yours? Ay, qué frío. So it stopped raining for the moment. Um, we're going to do a brief pit stop in Miraflores de la Sierra. Look, flowers of the mountain. Go for a little coffee here somewhere, get warmed up again. The rain uh, started literally 10 seconds after leaving. Classic Sierra town. Outskirts are impressively ugly. 
the inside's fairly cute, lots of stone. Then you go to the church, find a place for coffee, and then GTF out of here. Yeah. Okay, we've done the rainy route. Let's go into Moose, which is also the name of a Madrid wine. We bought a coffee. And that's it. <laughs> cool story from me. Well, we've had our coffee. And just ask Lara, she, let's walk down the street. And this was her reaction. Look, no lo digas al video. <laughs> That's definitely going in. <laughs> we're going to walk, walk back to the uh, car now and head back to Madrid. And then we'll do our usual. We could do, we could do the goodbye here, couldn't we? Si. As we walk down this pretty street. So yes, um, tr Moraleja. tricky day. <laughs> Um, check the weather before, check the you, weather do before you do anything, anything on uh, the Sierra de Madrid. Um, but that that mountain range area between here and Rascafe is astonishingly beautiful. So I reckon there are lots beautiful. of really cool routes there. But you probably will need a car. Um, so yeah. Oh look. This is one of those biblioteca uh, things. It's an exchange of books. Yes, it's a book exchange. It's cute. It's not the evolution of books in the library. Anything in English? France? Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. What can they do? They can like and subscribe and check the notification button so they can see more videos of us. And download a weather app. Okay, yes. <laughs> so from us in the very wet Sierra Madrid, Doodaloo. see you next time. Random bonus stop. We just finished the video, we stopped again because Colmenar Viejo, old Colmenar, is on the route back to Madrid and I've never been. And Lara, who was just really cool, she was like, okay, have a little cheeky stop. Because what do I always do when I finish these trips? He has a map of all the pueblos de Spain and he underlines them mm. and he wants to collect them all yes. like Pokemon. Like Pokemon. And I have never <laughs> taken in this one. Okay, we just walked around, <laughs> just walked onto Church Street yeah. and as we walk around the corner, Laura uh, exclaimed the mythical expression, Ostia Paco. <laughs> Why? Because we're approaching the Basilica and there's about 4,000 Cigüeñas stalks on it. Are protected. <laughs> All right, now you can subscribe and like and do that stuff. See you next time. It's like one of those taste test videos. Bottle of El Paular. Real Monasterio de Santa Maria de El Paular Selección. Red wine. When we were on the tour, we were taken to a very pretty, very ancient room and these tables laid out for lunch <laughs> with these bottles of opened wine here, monastery wine. And it was literally the, uh, the monks were about to come for their lunch. So they were, we were kind of holding them up. And I joked to Laura, oh, if they have a bottle of the monastery wine in the gift shop, I'll buy one. So I did. Uh, and it was very cheap. So it's probably not gonna be the greatest wine in the world. <clears throat> Looks like what I would call a red wine. Yeah, it's all right. It smells, it smells correct. This is epilogue number two of the video. Oh, wow. Tastes like red wine. Bien. It's a young Good. Tempranillo. Yeah. Should we finish the bottle? I mean, we're not monks. Bye again. <laughs>